My name is Frank Savage, and I've been working with Harley Davidson and the Willie G. Davidson Design Studio for 16 years now. Currently, I'm a manager and take care of the XL and XR platform. Hi, I'm Paul Martin. I'm uh, the manager of styling graphics in uh, the styling department. I've been with Harley Davidson for a little over nine years, and uh, I've worked on the graphics on this motorcycle. Uh, it was um, like a job that came into my old shop. Nice. We have a um, beautiful new motorcycle to introduce to you. It is the 72 uh, Sportster Chopper with a 2.2 peanut gas tank on it. We actually got the idea for this bike probably about six years ago. We produced a chopper style bike with a Sportster engine, low apes, and we actually took the mufflers off it and just had it there for the executives to take test rides. And everybody loved the kind of laid back feel. You, you, when you sat on it, you just wanted to keep riding off into the sunset. Just completely puts you at ease. You, do, you don't want to stop. It's, it's something you got to experience. Uh, at the time, we just had a regular walnut tank on the bike. And lo and behold, when the 48 was launched, we had the 2.2 peanut tank to work with. And we were just totally stoked that we had the smaller tank to work with and kind of what you're looking at now is the uh, the final evolution of that bike we rode in the desert about six years ago and we're really proud of it and look forward to putting more miles on it. All right, so, so a lot of the questions us designers get at Harley-Davidson is where does the inspiration for this bike come from? Where, where do you get your ideas? And it's obviously the inspiration for this bike came from choppers of the mid-60s to 70s, a really stripped down look. Uh, this is one of the narrowest glide front ends we have in our portfolio today and it, it really has a kind of almost a bicycle feel to it. And even today we see customizers stripping their bikes down in the west coast in Japan to get a really narrow bike, small tank and a prominent engine. Uh, after that we've defined the geometry, we get the 2.2 peanut tank, the trim fender. We're like, okay, take it to the graphics department and we work with Pauly to come up with some uh, era period graphics. We got Paul uh, Martin here that uh, is the expert in graphics and I, I was asking him, you know, where does the style of paint come from and when did candy custom and hard candy custom we call it and flake and paint and these pinstriping things, you know, what's the what was the origin of that stuff and where did it come from, Paulie? Well, in the, you know, in the 60s is kind of when the big flake really kind of started to take off and uh, and, uh, you know, we started seeing more and more of this coming back around. And, uh, and uh, on this particular project, when, you know, when we, when we chose this motorcycle to put, you know, as, as the palette for, for Big Flake, I got excited because it just put me right back to when I was growing up in, you know, the Chicago suburbs and seeing all this stuff coming from the West Coast, and uh, which included the, like these Tommy the Greek style uh, teardrops and the, and the scallops that are kind of reminiscent of uh, a Larry Watson paint job and the pinstriping and all that. I, I just really got stoked about doing that, uh, doing that job. That's sweet. So you're kind of taking what you've learned from history, some of the guys before you, adding their flair, but then mixing in your designs to make it something unique. Yeah, absolutely. This, this project was, uh, it wasn't much different than if, you know, you rolled into my shop and wanted to do something, you know, a cool paint job on it. And, uh, you know, with the big flake, you would do some graphics that were not trying to compete with that, but, you know, highlight the shapes. And, right. See, we went back to a more traditional round air cleaner, and it frees up space on either side of the uh, V to expose the push rod tubes and uh, really showcase the engine and give a classic uh, appeal to the 72. We've also given the uh, cases, the heads, and the cylinders gray paint. It's a nice accentuation with the chrome. Uh, this bike, you see it, and it, it looks like it just pulled into a ride-in show, and we're offering this right from the factory, so big chrome, looking good. Uh, we've also added white wall front and rear. 
which adds to a nostalgic feel, lightens up the bike visually also. One of the favorite parts of the process for me is seeing the hardware that we as a team worked on going down the road. And this, this one's gonna be no exception. Seeing this beautiful bike drive off into the sunset with a customer on it, it's gonna be very fulfilling. Man, you know, when I, uh, when I do a job like this in the shop, I just couldn't wait till the customer come and get it. It was just uh, really exciting. I can't wait to see this on the street.